I'm sitting in Arundel bedroom, which is actually one of my favourite guest bedrooms when people come and stay. Visitors obviously look into it. It was used for Lady Edith's room. It is used for Lady Edith's room in Downton Abbey. But in the First World War, it had quite a different purpose. It was used as an operating theatre when this house really was a hospital. It's near the staff stairs, easy access, I imagine, for carrying hot water up and down. Properly equipped, there's a bathroom next door and a dressing room, which there was a radiologist. There were many operations which took place, mainly orthopaedic ones in this room, and most of the men who came here actually managed to survive. I've got some diaries from a man called David Campbell who arrived here on his way back from Gallipoli in 1915. And he recalled being brought by a very uncomfortable army ambulance from Southampton to the front door. When he got here, he was unbelievably greeted by two footmen in uniform who carried him upstairs to a bedroom where his injuries were assessed. Their nurses tended to be dressed in strawberry uniform, something cheery to help the patients get better in mind as well as in body. He was brought newspapers by a butler in the morning. He was asked what he wanted for lunch and they'd hopefully come downstairs and rest and recuperate in what's today the library. It was used by the men in those days as a restroom and they ate in the North Library. So this house was turned over to all Armina's best efforts throughout the whole of the First World War. On August the 3rd, we're turning the castle back into a hospital. We're inviting medics, doctors, soldiers who are in today's theatres of war. So we're using the house as a humanitarian beacon, a place that it was of healing and remem remembering again the men who courage and sacrifice they fought through the First World War, but trying to raise money and funds for the men, the doctors, the journalists, the nurses who serve today, who look after people today. So I've asked men, men and women from wherever they live, from different embassies, ambassadors, all who would like to join us, to join us on the day. We've got a huge stage um, in front of the castle. I hope we'll have eight to 10,000 people. That's our aim. We've got several hundred reenactment soldiers, living villages, helicopters, planes, cars, a lot of different things going on. At the centre of it, we've got a football match because I thought that was a very neutral um, activity to draw everyone together. I've asked the Germans and the Austrians to be involved in that and they have responded with tremendous enthusiasm and support and I hope we'll have a fantastic day.